it's just a thrill to be nominated for the award, and, and I feel like I've won just by having students recognize, recognize the work. I'm, I feel like I'm the luckiest guy in the world to, to be at a campus where I can do the kinds of things that the campus allows me to do, see the impact, and, and be encouraged to keep doing it. Uh, I've never met a roadblock on this campus, never once. It's just, if you want to try it, go ahead and do it. That when you have a student take a moment to say thank you and to recognize that you made a little bit of a contribution to their life, that's, that's the payoff. Um, you know, I, I, tell people, I tell people that I don't feel like I'm working when I'm here. I, 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 I love so much what I do. I love the impact that hopefully I, I think I can have. And I love seeing a student like Ben come through four years, five years, and see where he began and where he ended. And, and know that on some small level that you had a little bit of an impact in that is, is, is a tremendous journey um, that, makes, that makes doing this totally worth it. I was not. I'm not surprised by it, but I wasn't aware of it. Congratulations. I see Thank he you. is an amazing teacher. He's got me ready for everything I want to do in life. I think if you want to look at what a teacher is supposed to do, I mean, you're supposed to, especially at a college level, is challenge your students to develop their adult view of the world. You get young adults in here, and by the time they leave college, I think that we're expected to be fully functional, ready to go into the workforce and pursue our dreams. and. I feel that Dr. Taylor and you have absolutely got me ready to do that. I'm excited to go teach now. I'm excited to go and take everything that I've learned here and since I'm going to be a teacher myself, take it and then get it into the next generation of kids and hope that they'll inspire themselves to then turn right around and just keep everything going. And that pursuit of education, that pursuit of changing the community is something that I've gotten here. You've exposed, I've talked to people at home, just my random friends at home about how much you've done for this campus and this community. It's unbelievable. Having Sister Helen Prejean and Luis Valdez come down into this small little Alamosa, Colorado community is unbelievable. And the theater that you've put on for them, like I said, I've been exposed to enough theater outside of Alamosa in Denver and around the country. I've been exposed to enough of that, but the theater that we're getting here and that this community is getting thanks to you is on par, if not better, than anywhere else you're going to get. If you were to go up to Denver to DCPA, you're going to get the same kind of shows here. And in my opinion, obviously it might be a little biased, better. 